Hi, English 130. Welcome to week four of Summer Boost. So we have a lot to get through today. Um, I hope you're not waiting until the end of the day today to get started on this because we have a lot of work to get through from last week. I'm not sure if you got my announcement on Friday, but notebook 13, 14, and 15 were all a bit of a struggle. So we're going to take a step back today and make sure that you know exactly what is expected of you for the threatened and endangered species paper that is due tonight. So those papers were not submitted correctly for the most part. And I sent out an email on Friday trying to touch on some of that. Um, but really, this is my first chance to connect with you since then. Um, so we're going to hopefully resolve some of that before it's due today. Um, there's three really big issues I need to address with you at the moment. And so I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. So if we go here into modules, I want to be extremely clear that notebook 13 outlined exactly how I wanted you to draft and turn in your first drafts last week. So right here, notice how it says, watch this video tutorial explaining how to share a Google Doc with Ali and Lauren before getting started. I think no one actually did this. So please take a moment right now, stop this video, pause it, go and look at the notebook 13 video. I also sent it out in an announcement on Friday. Watch that because it explains step-by-step step how to create a Google Doc and share it with Lauren and I. Then you have to use this endangered species text set to help you do the research so you can write the paper. So uh, notebook, I believe it was 15 was asking you about the works cited page. Um, 14 or 15 was asking you to create a works cited page. And I noticed some of you only have a couple sources on there. So that's not meeting the goal of the threatened and endangered species assignment. So the threatened and endangered species assignment, I'm going to pull up that link here, is asking you to use this text set to answer all of these questions. So this text set has a ton of links that I've curated for you. I just wanna be clear that you need multiple links. You need more than two or three sources for this paper. I'm thinking like five to 10 sources minimum. So let's say I'm here in one of these links. One way you can kind of expand on what you have so far is by reading through and searching for something like maybe I'm interested in this lake habitat. So as I'm reading through, I'm going to skim and scan for other related content. So that article does not have um, links to a lot of sources throughout it. Let me try to find one that does. Ah, here we go. Okay, so if I'm here under population and extinction, for instance, and then I'm scrolling through here, you'll notice there's references at the bottom of this these articles or blogs. And what you can do if you're finding like okay, the tech set doesn't have enough resources, is you can follow these and look up these articles. Um, you can also use the Merriam Library to do some of that work. You can also follow um, links here. to anything that you think might be helpful. So we can look up species, amphibians. If there's one amphibian here that's calling your name, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you're clicking on these links that are embedded within this particular blog. 
And then when you cite something like this, this is a different genre than something else. So this is like very policy specific. So here we have the date and we're going to look. This is a reply. to a formal notice. So like the genre might not always be super clear. Like we don't know necessarily if it's always a video or a research paper, or is it a letter or a formal notice, right? So you'll need to kind of go through a variety of sources and figure out how you're going to use them and why they might be helpful. So for instance, in this article, we see a lot of policy stuff creeping in. So what you're going to need to do is click through and figure out how you may be able to use sources that you haven't used yet, okay? And you're going to use the tech set and you're also going to do some searching within those sources to see if there are any links or reference pages in a blog that you already use that you can then um, also use as a, a way to bolster your research. Okay, watch this video from Notebook 13. That's first. I am also going to... Make sure you can still see this one. Yep, you can see it. So you can still click on that module 15. It hasn't closed. You can't resubmit anything to it, but you can definitely click on it. Okay. And then if we're here in... 14, I do want to briefly review some of these resources here. Everyone's paper needs to look like this. In the next 12 hours, you need to make sure that you have one Google Doc that looks exactly like this paper. So your content is going to be different. Your research is going to be different. Um, but this is how you're going to format. Everybody's going to follow a, this MLA style standard formatting. So you're going to have to go in and add your name to the header, your name here, my name, English 130, and today's date. Then you're going to add a title. And all of these callouts will help you um, determine exactly how to format that. Then you're going to indent the first line of a paragraph. It's all going to be double space times New Roman 12 point font. Um, and then you're going to have multiple paragraphs. So you'll notice there are no numbers or questions in here. This is a research paper um, that makes sense if you don't have a prompt in front of you. And that's what yours should be too. So you're going to add those subtitles. So this would be something like um, natural history. And then that whole section will be here. And again, it's each section is going to be a few pages long. So this paper needs to be expanded significantly for most of you. So each section needs to be one to two pages. If you do not meet that bare minimum, you will not meet the basic uh, guidelines for this assignment. Um, so back to notebook 14 here. Also, this should all be in that one Google Doc. So you should have your full threatened and endangered species paper and your full work cited all in one Google Doc that's formatted correctly here. And all of these resources will help you get there, including this introducing sources res uh, <clears throat> resource. So you all need to get to the point where you're introducing each source before you're citing it. So according to Dory Greenspan, author of Baking from My Home to Yours, quote, this light mixing technique produces quick breads with a lovely open crumb. Instead of something like this, where we're talking about baking, yours is going to be um, using something from that tech set uh, using one of those research texts, using one of those policies, using one of those websites. Um, so you're going to say something like, according to 
So this, dear Secretary Kim Thor and Director Hall, on behalf of the Center for Biological Diversity. So that's who wrote this. So you're going to say something like the Center for Biological Diversity in their letter to the Honorable Secretary of the U.S. Department of Interior and Director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service state, and then you will state a direct quote or you'll summarize or paraphrase something that was said here in this letter. And that's how you're going to be using these resources, just sort of as a reference as you go. Okay, so back to modules. We reviewed notebook 13. And what we sort of missed from that one, we reviewed notebook 14, what we sort of missed from that one. Notebook 15, we need to review because you all missed the mark on this one as well. Okay. <laughs> so what I need you to do to be able to answer these questions is to review that artifact assignment. And maybe I should have put a link to it directly in there, but this was available to you. So I guess um, my error was making the assumption that you would click on the artifact assignment uh, that was posted. So when I say an artifact, this is what I mean. A 3D model, an infographic, a poem, spoken word piece, or other creative writing. So you're going to create something like this. So please read through this list. So what I was hoping from notebook, uh, let's see, notebook 15 was that you said, I'm going to create a 3D model of the glacier habitat that my endangered penguin species inhabits, right? And then you kind of walk through what that process would look like. So actually, no one really told me what they want to work on for your artifact for a notebook 15. Um, so I was a bit confused. And I'm sure if I'm confused, you're confused. So what you need to do is read through the artifact assignment and decide what you're going to create. Are you going to create a poster, educational materials? Are you going to create a website? And then you actually have to do it before the end of the day tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Okay, so if you're going to create a poem, start working on your poem. As soon as you finish that Threatened and Endangered Species research paper, start your research artifact. So your artifact should be sort of like a summary of one aspect of the research that you um, just engaged with in your paper, or it can kind of be like an overview of um, materials that you're using as sort of like educational materials. If you say something like, I'd like to create a TikTok educational video. Okay, just know that you're going to be required to create one of those. So oftentimes we kind of underestimate the amount of time that actually um, takes. Like when I'm recording your videos, like a 10 minute tutorial for you all probably takes me about an hour to make. So just please keep that in mind. If we're back here in modules, we just reviewed notebook 13, 14, 15. Now I just wanna make sure everybody's on board. So here with Threatened Endangered Species Habitat paper, you are going to, let me get into student view here. You are gonna click on start assignment. Notice how you have to submit a URL you're going to be in your Google Doc that you created for this assignment. You're gonna make sure that your shared settings are open so that I can see them, that Lauren's added. You're gonna make sure it says anyone with the link here or change that. It can be CSU or anyone with the link. And then instead of viewer, you wanna make sure we can comment or edit. So that way Lauren and I can give you some feedback on these. So I'm going to change this to commentor.
then I'm going to copy the link. Post that link here. And that's how you submit this. So you cannot write like a Word document and attach a Word document. I want all of this in a Google Doc so that I can make some comments. If you're confused about that, please, please, please email Lauren or I. So let me go back to this homepage. My email address is here for Google Docs. Lauren's email address is here for Google Docs. So please, please, please make sure that you are submitting your assignment, your final draft of the Threatened Endangered Species paper using a Google Doc that it's shared with us and that we have access to it. Um, so again, you would go here to shared settings, you would change it to anyone with the link, anyone with the link can have access or comment. Okay. I hope this was helpful. I hope reviewing um, how to submit those is helpful. Go back to notebooks 13, 14, and 15 if you have questions on what all goes into that final draft. I look forward to reading your work and checking out your artifacts. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'm around. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.